Hey there, cats and kittens. What is the law? The law is not to spill blood. Are we not men? Yes, those are very famous lines from the 1932 classic, The Island of Lost Souls, which is based on the H.G. Wells novel, The Island of Dr. Moreau. In this film, we find that Dr. Moreau is conducting experiments that allow for the artificial evolution of common animals. Edward Parker inadvertently winds up on this island and there he is introduced to the simple but beautiful Lota who is also one of Dr. Moreau's experiments. And in this film, she's promoted as the Panther Woman. This film works so well because the makeup in this film for the creatures is outstanding and is the firm foundation for the decades of film makeup work that are to come. It's simply visionary in its execution and exemplary. The male lead, the heroic lead of Mr. Parker is very good. He's a very good male lead and Loda as the Panther Woman is very simple and effective she doesn't give anything that resembles an outstanding or exemplary performance, but she plays the role adequately. Mr. Parker's fiance, Ruth, who later in the film comes looking for him, is good. I mean, she's again, nothing exemplary, but she's fine, although she's not really in much of the film. The two performances which I found to be the most interesting is let's first start with Bela Lugosi as the sayer of the law. He gives many classic lines, starting with, what is the law, that really resonate as I've heard them referenced in film clips in many other films. And so he's, for the very small role that he has, is very good. But let's talk about the show stealer, the guy who really is menacing and creepy and charming and gives a stellar performance, that of Dr. Moreau, Charles Lawton, who is, as I mentioned, so sophisticated, yet so evil. And I was really quite taken by his performance and I thought he was spectacular. His performance alone is worth watching the film, but if you just want to see a film that genuinely earns the title classic, you got to go see it. If you love film, if you love monster movies, if you just want to see something that's done with passion and creativity and a sense of wonder, where basically all the cylinders are firing, you got to go see this film. You're going to be so glad that you did. I'm going to give this film a B plus. You might be asking yourself, given what you just said, why not give this film an A? Well, the one quibble, the one thing that stops it from being an A film, in my opinion, is the pacing. There are some scenes which really kind of dragged along and really stopped this film from meeting its ultimate potential. All right, guys. Well, that's all for now. I hope you are having an awesome day. Please remember to follow me on Pinterest, Twitter, and Tumblr at... Lord Coyote 2000. Take care now. Bye.